everybody and welcome to the penultimate GCN News Show. At least it was news when we shot this video. Coming up today, more teams reveal their lineups for the upcoming Tour Down Under. Nairo Quintana gets himself into a quandary, the Armstrong Con, our top 10 Christmas text of the week and tweets of the week in an advent calendar styling. With the Tour Down Under only a few weeks away, many teams are already announcing their squads for what will be the first World Tour race of the 2014 season. Mark Renshaw will make his debut in Omega Pharma Quickstep Colours on home soil and he'll be joined by fellow new recruit Jan Bacalance, wearer of the yellow jersey at this year's Tour de France. Sky have got a well-rounded squad with Geraint Thomas making a return. He was third overall this year and took a stage win along the way and he'll be joined by Richie Port, winner of this year's Paris-Nice. BMC will field their Australian hero Cad Levens, whilst the new Trek Factory racing squad, well they've got Jens Vogt who will presumably be making his last appearance at this race and what is supposed to be his last season. However, defending champion Tom Yelteslagter, who will be riding for Garmin Sharp in 2014, will not be defending his crown with his wife due to give birth to their child around that time. That team will be led by one of the revelations from 2013, Rowan Dennis. Mobistar manager Eusebio Anzu has recently hinted that runner-up at this year's Tour de France, Nara Quintana, might not be back at the Grand Bouc in 2014. Although it's not certain yet, Quintana has also stated that he'd like to make the Giro his main goal, with the mountainous route more suited to his abilities. Only time will tell, but Quintana ripping up the Dolomites would certainly be something to behold. To add to Lance Armstrong's woes, ex-professional rider Roberto Gaggioli has alleged that Armstrong paid him $100,000 to allow him to win the final round of the Thrift Drug Triple Crown of Cycling back in 1993. The series carried a prize of a million dollars for any rider who was able to win all three of the races and Armstrong had already won the first two. Roberto Gaggioli made his allegations in the Italian press and stated that he received his $100,000 in cash inside a box containing a Christmas cake. This is a story that will run and run until the US Anti-Doping Agency ban it from running. Our tech spotlight this week is on the Specialized Hot Rock 12 boys bike. It features a 12 inch frame and overall it's pretty light for a kid's bike which will of course make it easier for them to manoeuvre. Aptly on Christmas Day we'll be releasing a video featuring this bike where I along with my son Jude will show you how to get your young child into riding. Ooh. On to our Strava Club now and this week's member of the week is the Duggernaut from Launceston in Australia. Duggars has been a busy man this year, averaging seven rides per week. Now with my basic maths, I've worked that out as an average of one ride per day. Last week though, he did a three hour ride and took the King of the Mountains on Margaret Street to Brown Street. An average of 527 watts. Take that Aidan, who's now in second place. More importantly though, professional rider from Drapak Porsche, Bernie Salzberger is only in fourth from that KOM. Not sure your contract's going to be renewed next year, Bernie. On to our Facebook competition now. And yes, last week we announced the Christmas Crackers competition where we asked you to send in pictures of your cracking rides over the festive period. Well, that competition will run into the new year where we will be announcing the winner. So don't forget to post your pictures up to our Facebook page. It's that time of year again, kids. And over the last couple of weeks, I've received so many of your lovely handwritten letters requesting what you want this Christmas. I'm going to read out a few of them for you now. And here's the first one from Hyun Suk Yong. He says, I want a nice pair of Shimano Di2 group sets for this Christmas. Well, a pair's a bit greedy. I might give you one. Here's the second one. Ah, oh, from young Chris Froome. He's been a good lad this year, hasn't he? Dear Danta, all I'd like for Christmas is another shiny stem, please. I'll bring it round to you and drop it down your chimney. Here's one from Imar Fazila. He says, for Christmas, I'd like a GCN water bottle. Well, if you just tweet me, Daniel Lloyd, maybe he'll send you one in the post. Here's another one from Texas. Wow, Lance Armstrong. He says, dear Danta, I'd like one of them there time machines, please. I'll have to see what I can do, Lance. Here's another one from Kevin McGraw. He says, I'd like a GCN water bottle. Well, so would everyone, wouldn't they? And the last one from our lovely little smiley Chris Horner. Dear Danta, I'd really, really like a job, please. Well, I'll see what I can do, Chris. But, you know, times are tough. On to our tweet of the week now, and this time it's a set of pictorial treats from Australian rider from Lotto Bellasol, Adam Hansen. He's been on his Lotto Bellasol training camp, and each day he's given everyone an update on fatigue levels. On the first day of training camp, my dear said to me, you look so very happy. On the second day of training camp, my dear said to me, you can't dress yourself properly. 
On the third day of training camp, my teammate said to me, Wake up, it's time for afternoon tea. On the fourth day of training camp, my sponsor said to me, Can you prove that we are a clean team? On the fifth day of training camp, ZB said to me, You need another coffee. On the sixth day of training camp, my DS said to me, You can sleep on spaghetti. On the seventh day of training camp, my DS messaged me and it weirdly appeared on my screen. On the eighth day of training camp, my body said to me, You need another pair of these. On the ninth day of filming, my boss said to me, Can you please, please stop singing? Merry Christmas everybody, don't forget to come back to the channel. On New Year's Eve, we've got our first ever award show. Goodbye for now. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Top 10 Christmas gift ideas. For the cyclist who already owns almost everything. The most affordable of our gift ideas are these handy little physique seat post rings.